What's up, everybody? Ben Raza here from awesomeo.com, ready to bring you another best bet. We're going Saturday NFL. We've got three playoff games. We got the Rams and the Seahawks. We've got the Bucks and Washington, but I want to focus on the first game. We've got the Colts traveling to Buffalo to take on the Bills, the two C Buffalo six and a half point favorite. Before I dive into my favorite prop, I want to mention oddshopper.awesomeo.com. Go there. Shop those lines, get the best prices on, on not just straight wagers, but props. We have the matchups paid, everything you need, a great resource if you are betting these games. We have a ton of spots to go in the prop world, but I'm going to T.Y. Hilton and his receiving yards prop in this matchup against Buffalo. It sits at 54 and a half yards. Even though T.Y. Hilton is a, a good, good player, I'm leaning towards the under here, and I, there's for several reasons. First off, the game is outdoors. They're a dome team. Going to Buffalo, that's never a great situation. More importantly than that, though, Tredavious White should be covering him. I'm not going to say shadow, but he could be following him at some point all over the field. That is a big downgrade for a guy like Hilton. Tredavious White, one of the best corners in the league. Then we add in that the Colts, top 10 in rushing percentage in the NFL this year. They like to run the ball. They want to run the ball. Jonathan Taylor could be busy in here, and yes, they are underdog, but if they are winning, if the game is close, I'm just not sure we'll see volume across the board. Let's dig into the passing game, though. Phillip Rivers, he loves to distribute the ball all over this roster. Yes, T.Y. Hilton, 93 targets. It does lead the team. They have three other players with 60 or more targets, and that target share, I don't think it's a given that Hilton leads the team in targets this week, especially when you consider he could draw Tredavious White coverage all over the field. That makes it difficult unless he gets, of course, on top of the defense, hits a long one. We always have to worry about that. But if he has to get there on pure volume, I honestly don't see it happening. Price-wise, this is actually a straight toss-up. Minus 115 on both sides of the prop. And for me, the value is on the under 54 and a half. T.Y. Hilton, as I said, good player. But when you add an outdoor matchup against a corner like Tredavious White, in a game script that I don't think is a given that he gets a ton of work, uh, to me, this is a spot worth attacking. Before I get out of here, a couple things. One, give the video a like. We really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel. Very important. And two, I do want to just mention once again, oddshopper.awesomeo.com. All the resources that you need if you are betting these games. I will be back soon enough. Sunday, we have another three games. I have another best bet prop uh, that you guys can follow. If you have any questions, you can follow me on Twitter at jazzrazdfs. Certainly all my work here at Osmo. So good luck. Let's go Buffalo defense. We got to shut down T.Y. Hilton under 54 and a half receiving yards on Saturday. And I'll be back for Sunday's game. Should be a good one. Good luck. Talk to you guys soon.